Welcome to a new video from the parts channel, well, I'm going to make a short video but that I find. Very interesting, answering a question that you have left me. A person who has a Peugeot 1600 e, although the problem that that engine has you. Can find it in any other engine that has a common rail system, the problem it has is that. For some time now, it has noticed that the engine lacks power, and this morning. It went to start the engine and it didn't work. It starts, it turns over, but it doesn't start, as if it had no fuel. And the fuel tank was full. He called a friend who has a diagnosis machine and. The diagnosis machine showed fault P0190, sensor fault. FRP, the FRP sensor. Is its acronym in English, is the common rail pressure sensor, this is, do not confuse it with a. Common rail regulating valve, well, the symptoms you have may be caused by. A malfunction of the sensor. But be careful, because it can also be a problem. With its wiring, it can even be a problem with a dirty connector, we have already encountered. Wiring problems on some occasions, but on many occasions, even the sensor pins. Are dirty, or even oxidized by humidity, that is why I always say that before changing a part. For example this part, it is advisable to clean it, both on the outside, the connector, just like the connector that. Connects here, pardon the redundancy of the wiring, as well as clean inside the sensor, because sometimes, an obstruction inside, which is where the diesel enters and measures the pressure, can also result in the ECU not knowing the pressure that exists in the ramp, the rail, and then, if you do not know the pressure in the ramp, to protect the engine, many times what you do, is not let the car engine start, as I say, before changing it, check it. Although the failure that comes from this part does not it has to be a failure of the part. On some occasions, we have also found that the part worked well. The wiring is fine, and what was failing was the ECU, but that happens in fewer cases. As I say, focus on cleaning well the part, clean the connector well, reconnect it. And if the problem is solved, well, you have saved money, well, here I leave you. This short video, if it has been useful to you. Then don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel.